Nick, we're out here today with one of the biggest questions we always get and one of the biggest problems and considerations we got to get is capturing license plates. Yeah. What are some of the things we got to look at when we're doing that? And there are several, and you're right. We hear this weekly and daily. And you know, when we meet with end users and customers, what are the challenges? What problems are you trying to solve? In video surveillance, it always comes up, license plates, yeah. because that is true evidentiary information. Correct. You know, obviously, we always look at facial identification, yep. but when we talk about vehicles, for evidentiary information, we need the license plate. Absolutely. So, as you know, it comes with a lot of challenges. So as soon as it comes up, we need to have a conversation about that. Yeah, yeah. one of the biggest things I always ask the customer right away is, where's the camera gonna get located? Because mm -hmm. if you got a side profile of a vehicle, doesn't do good, because where are the license plates? Yeah, front and back. Yeah, exactly, and, and one of the concerns we have is, you know, New Jersey has them front and back, Maryland front and back, Virginia front and back, but guess what, Pennsylvania and Delaware, they're just the back of the vehicle. So you've got to capture the right part of the vehicle. Obviously, we're back at our favorite location for shooting video because you can see the 7-Eleven back there, people that have seen this. So exactly. you can hear a little background noise too, so don't start dancing. But anyway, yes, the challenges are the front versus the rear of the vehicle. Correct. There's headlights involved. Yes. There's lights, there's low light, there's no light. Yep. Um, and different times of day. Absolutely. I mean, we even get to the point where if a truck uh, or vehicle has a license plate that has mud or snow on it, mm -hmm. some of these technologies won't work as good as other technologies. So, right. so I guess we really got to look at it as the different technologies, camera technologies, mm -hmm. placement of the camera. But one of the other big things are how much license plate do I need to get? What field of view? How many pixels on target? Of course. So what do we need to do there? So we need to test is what we do. <laughs> uh, but that is what we're going to do, obviously, why we're out here, because we need to test some technology and yep. make sure that what we're recommending is accurate. The other thing we have to consider, too, is what are you trying to do with that license plate? Meaning, yes. are, is anybody watching it live? We have to, we, we're interested obviously in recorded information, right. but is that information being exported into one of the many you know, software platforms yep. for analyzing tags? So um, for instance, are you interested in a watch list so that when a certain tag comes up, I know that there's uh, an issue with that vehicle or yep. a, we've had problems there before. So you know, that's a consideration too. What yeah. are you integrating this license plate information right. into. Is it coming into a VMS? Is it coming into something that's going to monitor it? Mm -hmm. um, and, and one of the things I know, after we get a placement, after we look at the location, doing the test, then we got to make sure, can we read the license plate itself? Is there yeah. enough pixels on target? And again, most of the time I always tell customers you need 50 pixels per target on 50 pixels per foot, mm -hmm. be able to identify it. But we also saw from Matt's car, he's got really small letters on the front of his license plate. So you may need even more. Correct. So again, doing a demo and actually seeing exactly what the environment's going to get, that's really the only surefire way to see if it's going to hold up. Correct, because not all license plates are the same, meaning the numbers are, and the lettering are different heights. Yep. In a lot of states, the clubs that... Uh, let them go by first. <laughs> the clubs and the personalized tags, a lot yep. of them are stacked numbers, so they're Correct. much smaller than the others. So yes. a lot of things to consider. And uh, we just talked about a complex, we made a complex situation yeah. out of an easy question that a customer might have asked. Absolutely. Like, how can I see license plates? We made it very challenging. But that's the thing you got to take a look at because if I'm just putting a, you know, a camera in the back of the parking lot here, mm -hmm. Again, I'm going to see the cars in that, but if I specifically want to see license plates, yeah. these are the considerations you got to put through to make sure yeah. you're successful. Because probably the, the hardest application, facial recognition and license plates, uh, that by far. And of course, we yeah. always get asked that. Yep. So it's our job, and the reason we're here right now is to make that a very simple response. And we do that by testing it. So we know and we have you know, faith in what we are providing and can guarantee that that information is gonna be collected. So it's a very challenging, a lot of uh, you know, issues that we just identified, yep. but we wanna simplify it. So that's why we spend the time and what we're gonna do out here, testing it and seeing what it looks like. So- Sounds uh, good. I'm, I'm interested to see what we get. Okay. It's gonna be good.